it's been about a year and a half since I finished my hot tub and I'd like to do a little more work to it since I just finished working on my tower. The hot tub, I'd like to build a roof over the whole thing. And I want to build the whole thing out of concrete, but make it look like a cave. So when you're inside of it, it's like you're inside a cave. I'll put some nice decorative lighting up. And, and I'd also like to do a better coating on the inside and get some better lights in the water.
I'm trying something completely new this time. Um, the issue I've always had with concrete pours, if, if you're doing a small amount under seven yards, it, it gets ex expensive to order it through a truck, but it's too much to mix by hand. So this time, I'm gonna try to mix it in the back of this dump truck with the excavator bucket. So it's three parts gravel, two parts sand, and one part Portland concrete. This, this should work good. So I'll mix it right there and then I'll be able to just use the excavator and pour it right on top of this. And then you know, I can vibrate it down and stuff. So I got a bunch of supports in here. That should work all right. All right, I'm starting this in the rain. I don't really like the weather, but once I once I start opening these bags, I'm committed. Finished this concrete pour last night. 
I didn't do the best job filming everything here yesterday because it was raining out and I was by myself and I started this at like 6 o'clock so I only had a few hours of daylight to do it but I'm real happy with how it turned out I can't wait to take this form away surface of the hot tub I want to use something that looks cool like a decorative white and blue coating so I got this white surface bonding concrete I got the blue dye that they use to dye paint and I got some blue glass bead and maybe mix them in with the concrete so before I do the whole hot tub I'm gonna just do a drop on the cinder block just to see how it works 